All right, the Grayman Challenge continues. Uh, this is Thunder at Grayman.com. We got Todd. Todd's out there with Dana in uh, world famous Aurora, Illinois, home of Wayne's World. You there? Yep. All right, what kind of car we got to uh, take the Grayman Challenge today via text to lower your smog? It is a 2008 Chevy Suburban. Awesome. Nice ride. Okay. That's, uh, you know the drill. Take it away, Todd. All right. Let's go in, uh, go in the car and we'll check the RPM and start running. All right. Let's see what we got here. There we go. It looks like we're running about 600 RPMs on this V8. And we got 100 miles at. That, that's a V8? That's a V8. This is a Chevy Suburban. Those are low idles. How many miles you got on this one? I don't know because it's the service tire thing is on. You can't check it. What do you think of it? All right. Probably a solenoid issue. Okay. Um, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, hold on to this window right here. Yeah, let's, let's head back to the exhaust. I don't know what it feels like. Okay. All right, let's go open the car. We're going to take a look at the exhaust. And take a slow out of exhaust. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty bad. Okay. Hey, let's do that lawnmower next. I see somebody mowing the lawn there. Let's take that one down. Yeah, I think there's someone mowing the lawn. What was that? Yeah, someone's out mowing the lawn. So let's go do that lawnmower next. Yeah, we'll yeah. Do that. We'll, we'll get Pete to do that. Okay, uh, text has been deployed. Let me know when it arrives. It might not come through all on the phone. Yeah, it will. Okay. Say I'm through yet? Mm-mm. My music don't work when I'm on the phone. All right. Well, I have a little technical issue here. She says uh, thought the uh, text message won't come in while she's on the phone. It should. Check it again. See if it came through. Mm-hmm. No? Thunder, do you deploy the... Uh, Text message already? Yeah, let's try. Uh, let's have her um, disconnect and then uh, call me right back. Okay. All right. I'm standing by while the um, while Todd um, and Dana retrieved the text. Apparently, their system was unavailable to receive a multimedia text and talk on the phone at the same time. Um, once the uh, text arrives, opens it up. What they will next do is will be holding it next to a uh, probe fuel tank for a period of uh, one to two minutes as we send a frequency that renders toxin inert. We are a pre-combustion system. Uh, in applied quantum mechanics, we are the world leader in uh, pollution reduction, quite proud. Our goal is to see our name in the history books next to the word pollution, that way we know we achieved our goal. Uh, we have factory authorized reps that are out there um, hearing about our technology, uh, coming to our training, uh, getting out there in the field, and we are shooting 400 videos such as this that are showing people um, our technology. 
taking pollution down to um, a, a unheard of near zero or single digit hydrocarbon readings in just a few minutes. The remaining um, toxin, once the engine has been removed, uh, starts to clean up usually after a few tanks and an oil change. Uh, we recommend right away to um, extinguish the engine from those toxins. The detergents in the oil will pick them up. All right, we should be getting a call back here any minute. And right on cue, you guys are in. I was guessing you guys would be calling any second. <laughs> All right, the uh, image has arrived. Yeah, we're going to go and uh, put it on the yes tank now. Okay, yeah, open up that image and uh, hold it toward the tank. Where's your other camera pointed at? Is it uh, for, okay, yeah, you're still good. Yeah, we just had a slight audio uh, interruption, but we at least kept the uh, video feed live. Um, no smoke and mirrors here. Um, anybody that uh, wants to take the challenge or, or see skepticism in what we did, we uh, send, uh, you know, come, go to graylin.com, you'll see the challenge, um, click the, the intel, follow it, and uh, we'll, we'll contact the truck to show you the ropes, how to get on our system, and, and take the Grayland challenge. We are uh, doing 400 videos. We are just about 25% uh, on one. We have 100 videos done our first uh, two, two and a half weeks. Uh, the team has just been out there just having a ball. Uh, we're, we've set aside one million in inventory for the first 400 uh, video shot challenge out there on our YouTube page. We're sending out $2,500 or 10 of our fuel devices that you simply apply on the bottom of the fuel tank, and it's on permanently. What uh, Dana is showing here, um, our secondary feature is our frequencies that come via text message, and the phone itself becomes the device that is projecting the, the field. Um, we get a, you get a carbon allowance with the device. You do not get a carbon allowance with the text. And the reason is because that is attached to a phone number. The serial code number that comes on the device is then um, attached to the car for, um, uh, as a, your registration VIN. So that's the paperwork that we just need a picture of. And we'll um, start to submit your carbon allowances in around 60 days after you've applied um, the device on to the tank. That being said, yay, I think that tank should be charged. All right. Let's go into the front seat again, and we're going to get a 2,000 RPM on the vehicle. I'm going to hold it there. We call this part the uh, 222. Hold the image for two minutes. Uh, rev the engine for uh, 2,000 RPMs for two minutes to work that now conditioned fuel up into the engine. Um, what we're doing through the fuel is that we are, we are weakening the toxins so that their flash point or that melting point, which doesn't even occur till around two or 3,000 degrees, uh, now starts to uh, have an effect at the six to eight hundred degree that the engine is burning at. So, so what before could survive now? Now those toxins they they implode, and we get a hundred percent burn rate with most important part no pollution that exits the vehicle. Put, uh, let's put it to the floor three times for me, Todd, and uh, let's go see where the RPMs settle down at. They were already low at 600. This is uh, okay. this impressive. Okay. And back down one more time. We're going to go all the way down and continue. That's good. Now let's see what she idles out at. Get your hair. I'm turning your off. Creeping down a little bit. 
Six hundred down to about five hundred. Yeah, right, right, right. It's creeping down some more. It's getting to that five hundred mark. Okay. All right, it's starting to kick in. I'm feeling good about that one already. All right, let's. Um, this is the moment that the, the this is what we put the Grayland Challenge out. The uh, the epic look on the face of everyone who gets to see this work. Do yeah. not take the challenge. All right, go ahead and take a smell, man. You saw, you have the nose. <laughs> About 99%. Ron, let's go ahead and uh, punch it a couple more times. Yeah, it's pretty steamy. Same thing, just punch it. Got a lot of water coming out of there. Okay. Go back and take another snort. Another snort. Another snort. Did you say? Did you use the word snort? You know, he said snort. <laughs> Can't snort. That's a lot of water. What did you say? There's a lot of moisture down there. Yeah, I had the air on. I didn't know. Okay, that's eight teeth. Okay, gotcha. I don't smell a thing. I think we got another successful grilling challenge. I'm not surprised. I, I can't seem to find one that, that doesn't. Uh, hey, that's epic news. Uh, Dana, which, I mean, seriously, is this one of the coolest things you have ever, ever seen in your life? Ever. <laughs> right Forever. on. Right on. So now we made your smartphone a little bit smarter. In fact, now it's a genius phone. Until uh, next time, this is uh, Thunder with uh, Grayland.com, welcoming anyone uh, to the Grayland Challenge.